Alright, you want to know how I kind of know the story? Paraphrasing. Okay, St. John, he was preaching Christianity. It didn't go over so well. And they threw him in oil to burn him. He didn't die. But for some reason, they then brought him here where he lived his life out in a cave as a prisoner. And there is where he wrote revelations of the Bible. Hmm. Put my cross out. The beginning of the 12th century, the interior was done of the cave. The cave of the apocalypse, the place where St. John, the theologian, exiled in 95 after crucifixion, envisioned and wrote the sacred apocalyptic text. Okay, I hope you get to Athens. Bye-bye. He asked me for money, and of course I said I didn't have any, and then I kind of thought, you know, angels are in disguise, so I gave him five euro. He says he wants to go to Athens, so, and he said, he said, God will be good to me. He asked me. side of the island. Let's go. This, this island's almost like an hourglass. Now we're on the other side of the other hourglass. I gotta tell you, indeed it is. That sign maker is not a liar. Last year I was on the island of Milo's and I had a flip-flop malfunction based on an impromptu rock hike. Deja vu. I just want to go see the boat. I see you boat. I see you.
monastery here and the other day I don't feel like I did it here's windy I don't feel like we did it justice because I just ran through here real quick and got a croissant so let's see Cameras, no drugs, me, no speaking. Jesus, Saint John, the theologian. Mm -hmm. St. John the Apostle, same person, St. John the Divine, and St. John the Evangelist, same person. To the left, the monk Christodoulos here, holding in his hands the plan of the Catholicon, which is the main chapel. We're going to visit that right now, ladies and gentlemen. From this point on, please, no photos, no videos, and please take your hats and your caps off. The Monastery of St. John the Theologian was founded in 1088 and was built on the highest point of the capital city Chora on the island of Patros. It has been declared a World Heritage Site and named after St. John of Patmos, who wrote Revelations in the Cave of the Apocalypse. It took three years to be built with heavily fortified exterior walls to keep out the threats of pirates and Turks. And the treasures that are in the museum here are nothing short of amazing, dating back to 95 AD, first century. Incredible.